The year today is 2010 and the buzzword is being green. However, if you look back at yesteryear, everyone was green. In the year 1291, Stanway Mill, owned by the abbots of Tewkesbury, didn't have any electricity to power their mill. They only used natural power, or green power. When they wanted to power the mill, they had to use the power of water. They shut the sluice gate to divert the stream into a reservoir. An overflow chute enabled the excess water to be diverted back into the stream. When the water wheel was developed, an undershot design was used. This is where the paddles were simply pushed around using the power of the stream. The efficiency of the wheel was improved by turning the paddles into buckets and having the water coming in at the top. This design is known as an overshot wheel. This is the design of the wheel at Stanway. The grinding of the corn is achieved by rotating a large flat stone on top of the base stone. Corn is fed into the centre of the top stone and the corn is then forced outwards by the motion of the stones. The fineness of the flour is depending on the space between the stones. Paddles on the stones would then scoop the flour up and push it through the holes in the floor. The ground flour would then fall down a chute into a bag. The bag is then sealed and ready to use when required. Water wheels were still in commercial use well into the 20th century. However, modern hydroelectric dams can be seen as the descendants of the water wheel as they take advantage of the movement of water downhill.